Hi guys, I can back to another video with M Gaming. Um, I'm not. This is gonna be another solo episode. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I built this, which was in. Um, if you haven't, if you didn't see the video where I made this and um, Ethan played it once, um, and Ethan had to escape from it. He did the dungeon. It was. I've, um, he had a pretty fun time, I think. Um, please make sure to check that out. Um, so the way that this would work is that it's a dungeon, and you're just trying. All you're trying to do is get from. I think here, all the way, and then trying to escape through that door. With um, randomizers, though, with all this redstone, and there's even more back here, um, you, I used all this redstone to randomize it so that it will have one, it'll no, have over a million different possibilities. So now I'm going to show you guys how I made it. Um, this is just going to be a, this is just going to be a way to randomize one thing, because it can add more, um, you guys, you guys wanted to add like um, things like this to make it sad if you get stuff. So, for example, this one will um, you'll get a diamond if you, if you put in a diamond, you'll get an emerald. So things like that. Sorry, glitching. Um, if you want to see things like the vending machines, I call them vending machines. Um, you can look that up online. I'm not entirely sure. I used um, a book that I bought to make them. Okay, so the items in my hotbar are the items that you're gonna need. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna um, some some somewhere in the air make a box that is going to be make just a something that's three by four blocks wide. That's three by that's three by four blocks of um, you can use whatever material that you like. I use stone bricks because I feel like that works the best. Um, then build it up two blocks and so build the walls up two blocks. Um, you can make this bigger by one bigger if you want to. Um, I feel like it, in my opinion, it works better like this, but you don't have to if you want. And press your, press your stone press plate there. So, um, you can either have it so that it'll have a better, it'll have probably a, a round and equal chance this area will have more of it, this pressure plate being hit. Or you can have it just like that, so they'll have probably an equal chance. I did like this because, um, I found it worked better that way. Um, you will place a chicken in this eventually, but for now, we're going to ignore that because it can be really annoying um, constantly turning on redstone. So you're going to destroy that block right there. The block, um, the block right next, the block, um, next, in front of the, um, block underneath the pressure plate. Because underneath that hole, you're going to place two, you're going to place the block and place a pressure plate there. So this way, every time, any time someone hits the pressure plate, It'll activate this. You can now um, put a piston there and put a block on it. So whenever the ch chicken stands there, um, this it'll push out. This piston will push out. Um, now you need a butt somewhere to place a button or a pressure plate. So let's say there's a um, you want to randomize whether um, up which piston will open whenever you sit on the pressure plate. So you'll need um, to fill, or you can use a button like I did. Once again, you can check the video. Um, so you just need this to um, come here. Doesn't matter where it is as long as it can reach. Um, you might need to put some repeaters somewhere. Does not matter. And you just do this so that if the pressure plate um, pushes out, um, the um it will not be able the redstone won't go anymore so if there's a chicken there and you're on the pressure plate that will have nothing but if the chicken's not there and you're on the pressure plate it will um show redstone okay now this is kind of the basic part down all you have to do is create a um a, a loop a kind of basic loop basically just like um this um, the reason why I'm adding that block there, you will see soon. Just make sure that, um, the rest of it won't work if you do not add this repeater. This repeater is actually really important so that, um, it won't come back and it could break some of the redstone. Um, you need this because every time you do this, you need to be, so every time, um, the pressure plate hits, you want to be able to reset all of this. Um, right now I'm kind of just building it. I'll explain it to you a little bit more in depth later after I build it. So you, all you need is to put this here, and the finishing touch is um, adding that so that either one of these will be on at all times, either one or the other. Now you just add the chicken in, 
now that it's there, um, I can go on this pressure plate, and you'll see that, um, wait, so, so, you see that, um, since the chicken is on that, it's, oh, so, since the chicken is not on that, okay, since the chicken is on that, it will not lead to this, so, um, this, this, this area won't be able to turn on, meaning, since it's perched, torch there, that will be able to turn on. But now that you can get off it, if you get on, this will be in a loop. So it'll go on forever, or, or at least until um, this it gets reset. And so this will go on. Only one of them will be on at all times, um, because and it's practically random because um, the chicken's movement. So we're using to randomize it. Um, if, you, if I didn't explain this well, or if um, there are some parts you have questions of, please tell me. The only things that you need to know is that there's this chicken, which is basically pushing this out, and it matters whatever. That, so either um, if this is on, one will go. If it's not, the other one will go. It's basically all you need to know, and that this will either spawn the loop or and reset the loop, and it'll do both. One thing that you can do to make it um, work better if you're having problems is to just hit that repeater a few times cause, because sometimes what will happen is um, it'll go and when that resets it, um, since the pressure plate, they could have already gotten off the pressure plate, so this will turn off already, so it won't work exactly how it should, but it, it, that doesn't really matter. Um, if you have any, like I said, if you have any questions about how this works or if you have any ideas to improve it, please tell me. I'd love to hear. Um, thank you so much for watching, and bye.